Who do you favor in that fight? Uh, I'm going for Taylor. Okay. I think Taylor, um, I don't know. I think Taylor has more IQ in the ring. Mm. I mean, I love Serrano. I have a lot of respect for Serrano. Like, I tell everybody, like, that, like respect for her. I, mm -hmm. I do. But I think Taylor has the more IQ in boxing than Serrano. If, if perhaps a chance like that happened where they see you're like, oh, 12 fights, not as experienced, quote unquote. If one of those were to call, maybe Serrano were to call your name, would you jump at that chance? Oh, yeah, for sure. Yeah. Yeah, yeah because, I mean, to me, it's like you have to fight the best to be the best. Mm -hmm. You know, para que, you know, like, well, at least in my, in my timing, mm -hmm. like me now, you know, like I don't have another five, ten years to go. Like, mm -hmm. honestly, I don't see this being a long career for me. Like, mm -hmm. I'm already, this is my prime right here. Yeah. Like, there's no, oh, I'm too young. I, I, I need five more years of experience. Like, no, like, this is it. Like, there's no more. Is this how you, how you kind of envision your career going? You know, you started in 2017, I believe. Um, five years later, is this... Yeah, you, you know, I'm counting. <laughs> <laughs> I'm good at math. I'm no, good, I'm no. counting. You know no. why I'm counting? Because um, I was looking back on my Instagram mm -hmm. and I think somebody had asked me, like, where do you see yourself in five years in your oh. career? Mm -hmm. And I said, being a world champion, you know, mm -hmm. and I was holding like the WBC belt at the time at the WBC um, studio that they had out there. And I said, on there, I forgot. But I was like, damn, five years. So right now I'm counting right. and I'm like, yeah, yeah. I think we're in a good, you know, good, good timing, place. good. We're in the right path. I'm talking about also the Serrano and Katie Taylor fight. How do you think the um, support for women's boxing has, has changed or if at all? No, it has changed. I, it has changed a lot. And I feel that maybe in the next five years is going to change even more and better. And maybe hopefully in 10, 15 years for the little girls that are coming up will be so much better for them. Like, And that's what I really hope for those little girls. You know, when I see little girls training, I'm like, man, hopefully cuando ustedes crezcan, you know, you guys could actually get the that support from people and get the, get paid what the you pay. Deserve. Yeah, mm -hmm. what we deserve, yeah. you know, what they deserve. Like, it's just, it's crazy. And ladies and gentlemen, if you hear noise in the background, there's, a group of kids, adults, all training on these other sides of these walls. So yes. um, we saw it walking in. There's a lot of young kids, not yeah. just not just boys, girls too. Great question. How do we feel about Jake Paul acting as you oh, know co-promoter? You know he. You know what? He is co-promoting the Serrano Taylor he fight. He is. He is. Um, honestly, when Jake Paul came into the picture, I was like, oh my gosh, seriously, like, why? You know, like I, I. One of those, I was one of those that was talking <laughs> shit, you know. Oh, sorry, <laughs> I was you talking did. crap. Um, but now I see how he's supporting women's boxing, and it's like he has my respect, okay. he has my respect. Like, I'm just like Bravo. He's watching, by the way, so yeah, you might want to send him a shout out. Hey, Jake Paul, I, <laughs> I heard he's a big fan of the show, hey. so whenever you watch this, shout out from Kobe. Can I be next? <laughs> just hey, there you go. <laughs> Yeah, no, yeah, I. Uh, it's it's great. What he's doing is great, and Amanda was the best one. I mean, she's the best out there. Like I said, she has all my respect as well. So that's a good team.